What's up guys? Do you want to know how you could build a simple modern house like this? I will show you in this video, so let's get started. We can start building the gate for the house. For that I'm using white concrete blocks, grey concrete blocks, dead brain coral block, brown stained glass pane, iron door and a stone button. So now we can place two gray blocks. Leave one behind and another two gray blocks. In between those two gray blocks we will place a dead brain coral block and the door. And now we can place the button so that the door will open. On the left side we will add now five white blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. And now we will place again two blocks and then another five white blocks. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. And then again two gray blocks. And now we can add glass between those gray blocks. And on the right side it will be six white blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then again two gray blocks. And now we can place again those, uh, those glass between those gray blocks. Now that we are done with the front gate, we can start building the side of the gate. For that we have to place 34 white blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, and now two gray blocks. And now between those two gray blocks we can fill in a second layer of white blocks. And we can apply this one on the other side. Okay, now we can finish the back side of the gate. And here we have our finished gate. So. We can start now building the front part of the house, but before that I have to add a button so that we can open it from the other side of the gate. And I also have to measure the distance between the gate and the front part of the house. So that will be about 11 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I will place them inside. Same here. Good. Here I will add three white blocks. And now we can start with the entrance. So for that the height would be about four gray blocks for the first floor. So one, two, three, four. Same like here. One, two, three, four. And here I will connect them like that. And I will add a dark oak door because it will fit much better for the house than the white iron door. Now on the left side I have to place white blocks. And on the right side I will place another dark grey blocks.
And here I will place now two gray blocks. Like that. And now I have to add five additional gray blocks. Two, three, four, five. Good, now we are done with the front part of the house. Now we can start with the side. It will be 18 blocks. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Same like on the other side, but I think it's 19 blocks, yeah. Is it 19 blocks? No, 20 blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 20. Ah, no, I think it was 19, 19 blocks, yeah. Good. We finished building the wall of the house, now let's start with the interior. So here I'm placing five blocks of white concrete blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Here I will add another white block, same like on the other side. And we can fill up the floor also with white concrete blocks. Good, and now I can place the door. and place those white blocks. So I will destroy those six blocks here and I will place those uh, glass plane. Now here I will build the bathroom. So the distance between the entrance here and to the bathroom would be four blocks. So one, two, three, four. I will place now four white blocks. So one, two, three, four. Good. And this part here we can already fill with white blocks. That will be the living room. Here I will leave one block for the stairs. 
So this one here, I will place one block. The height would be also four blocks. And same here. One, two, three, four. Then again. One, two, three, four. And now we can close up the room with the wall. Okay, let's start adding the furniture in the living room. So here I will destroy two blocks because I will place the TV there. For that I'm using black concrete. And here we can add a window. I'm destroying two times four blocks. And now I'm placing the glass. Ah, looks much more better. And now I can place the sofa. For the sofa I'm using smooth quartz stairs. So I will make a distance of two blocks. And start here. Good. Now we can place here the dining table. So for that I'm using... I lost this one again. Ah, here it is. The scaffolding. Okay. And for chairs, I'm using uh, not oak stairs, birch stairs. So I'm placing them like this. And I'm placing six pairs. I think. No, not six pairs. Four pairs of uh, scaffolding. Right? Scaffolding, yeah. And here another two pairs. Now it's time for the kitchen. So here I will add a window so that we have a nice view outside from the kitchen. So I will use the brown stained glass pane. Good. Looks nice. So here I will add a white concrete block and like over there and here. And I will use a block of iron to place it between those white concrete blocks. That will be our stove. To make it look like, like a stove, I will use a item frame and I will play uh, I will place a actually I want to place a dark a black stained glass pane. Yeah. No, not the button. Uh, exactly. Here. And on top of it, I will place a black carpet. Now it looks more like a stove. And on this side here, I want to add a kitchen sink. Here it is. A cauldron. So I will place this one here. And now what we need is a water tap. And I will use a tripwire hook for that. And here I can place the refrigerator. Now here I will add some cabinets. So I will place them like that. And this one here will be the vent to uh, remove the smoke when you're cooking. So that it looks like, like a kitchen. A proper one. We are nearly done with the first floor. The only thing that is missing is the shower room and a window beside the dining table. So let's start with the easiest thing. So now it's time for the shower room. So for that, I will place here three white blocks. One, two, three. Close it up. 
and the height would be also three blocks. Two, three, three. Like that. And here I will add a white block. Good. Oh, here another one. <laughs> okay, good. Now I'm using a glowstone as our light source. We'll place them like that. And for the floor, I'm using red birch wood. Like that. And now we can start building the shower. So for the floor of the shower, I'm using polished andesite slab. And the polished andesite stair, or is there a block with what I remember I was using a block, yeah. A polished andesite block. So I will place the block like that. And here I will place a, a grey dark concrete block. And now here we can place the polish uh, and the side slab. And here again white concrete blocks. Place this one here. So we are nearly done with the shower. The only thing that it's missing is the glass. And what we could also add here is a towel. For that, I'm using a red banner. And I can place it like, like this. Now that's what I call a shower. The only thing that is missing now here is a door. And this one will be our door. So now we are done with the shower. We can start building stairs that will lead to the second floor. And for the stairs, I will use, what's the name again? Dark Oak Stairs. Yeah. Oh wait, I did a mistake. Actually, it should look like like that. Okay, now that we are done with the first floor, we can add now the ceiling. For that I'm using the white block.
Now that we're done with the first floor, we can add now design elements to the house. So on the fourth block here, I will add white concrete blocks. Add here a white column. Then around the house, I will add additional concrete blocks on the side. Like this. And here also I will add another white column. And to make the house more interesting, I will add more design elements. So here I will add a column. Same like here. What I'm using is uh, smooth quartz. Like this. And then on the other side, I will add another kind of design element. So here I'm leaving out five blocks. One, two, three, four, five. And add additional four blocks here. One, two, three, four. And now we can fill this gap. Uh, I mean the hole here with additional blocks. Okay, now we can start with the second floor. So let's start with the basic shape to make it more simple. The height is still four blocks. So one, two, three, then another one. So it's now four, three, four. Okay, now we got the basic shape. So the process will take a little bit longer. That's why we'll speed things up. After adding the bolts to the second floor, we can start building the balcony. So here I will add three blocks of grey concrete, same like here. Put three blocks up. Connect them. Same like on the side. And on the front, I will place brown glass pane. Good. And one last thing is adding a door. And now we can start building the interior by adding the walls. So here I will place two white concrete blocks. Then a door. And now here I will place three additional concrete blocks. On the back of the side of the wall, I will add here a wall. That will be our bedroom. And here I will add a door. Good. Now here I will add an additional door for our bathroom, like that, close this part up, and 
and here I will add additional wall to separate the bathroom with the bedroom. Good. Now we can start with the interior of the bathroom. For that I'm using that smooth quartz stairs. This one would be useful for building the bath. So I will place this like that. And now we have a bath. And the water tap, I will place it here. Here we can add windows. Here, I will add, uh, yeah, here I will add a water sink. Uh, not water sink, I will add a sink for the bathroom. Here. For that I'm using a cauldron. And now I will also add a toilet. So I'm just using a smooth quartz there and what I also can add is a stone button. And here we can add another banner as our owl. So this time I'm using a light gray banner. Looks nice. So what I can do here is also adding a window. And here we can add now our furnitures. So now I'm adding here beds. For that I'm using a, a light gray one. And I'm placing them here. And beside those beds, I will use a chest. That came like on the other side as our night table. And here I can add now a, a bookshelf. Yeah, like that. Good. And here we can place a painting. So I want the painting to be only two blocks, placing them like that, here. Good. Now that I decorated my bedroom, I would do the exact same thing in the other side. But first I will place a nice painting. This one would be about four blocks. Yeah. Good. And in front of the painting, I will place my beds. And I will also use gray ones. Like this. Now let's see what kind of furniture we have here. I will use a uh, scaffolding. And what I could also search for is a flower pot. Uh, 
And the red flower would be nice. So I would put this one on the table. And I will also add a chair. So for that I'm using birch chairs. And I will place it right in front of this table here. And here in front, it would be nice if you could add some chest. And here maybe you can also add another painting. Let me see. Okay. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not really happy about the placement of the furniture. So first of all, I want to change some stuff in the bathroom. I will destroy those windows here. And place them one block below. Oh, it looks way more nicer. And in the master bedroom, what I want to do is here I want to place some bookshelf so that it doesn't look so empty and over here I want to also place a picture frame that is only one block big Ah, oh, wait a moment Actually, it should be like that. And I will place the bed one block on the right side so that the table has more space. You see, where's the chair? Here. Place them beside the beds. I will also move this one, one block to the left side. And add also here a picture frame. Like this. And now I want to change something small here. Oh, wait a moment. I forgot to add some windows. So here I will add a window. And behind the bed I will also add another window. that we have natural light running inside the room same like on the other side of the room we'll only add one bed here 
only one chest. I will get one. Uh, no, I will get rid of one of those uh, bookshelf. And add two additional bookshelf. Finally, we can add now the roof. For that, I'm using smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, and smooth quartz block. So I'm using now the smooth quartz stairs and placing them around the house. Oh, wrong. Oh no, correct. Now I'm using the smooth card slab and add them also around the house on the sides. Good. Now we can close it off with smooth quartz blocks. Good. Now we are done with the roof. So what we could do now is add some design element. So I'm getting rid of those white blocks here. And I'm using smooth quartz blocks. Continue this uh, design element here. Now what I want to do here is add a window. So for glass I'm still using the brown stained glass pane. Same on the back side I will also add A window like this. Beside the window of the bathroom and the window of the bedroom, I will also place a smooth quartz as a design element like that. And now I'm using white concrete. Continue this one up till to the roof. And now I'm using gray concrete to place this one here. And again, move parts lab. Continue it like this. And oh, and I see I did a mistake. So we we'll remove this one here. And move it over here like this.
Okay, now we can start building the garden. For that, I'm using Dead Brain Coral Block. Any cat type of flower that you like. Grass block. And what I usually like to use is a large fern. So here I'm removing those uh, grass blocks and replacing them with dead brain coral blocks. I will do this one here around the house. And here I will place the flowers. Yeah, the gap is disturbing me, but uh, there's nothing else I can do. So I will continue here. I think I will also add here some dead brain coral blocks. And maybe I will also add here a design element. Like this. Okay, so I'm using now the large fern and I will place it on each corner. That. I will also do the same thing in front. Place one here and place here one on the other side. And I also would like to add here some flowers. Now I'm using again the dead brain coral, coral block. I get rid of this one here. Like, no, actually not. Getting rid of those earth blocks. Adding grass blocks here. And now I can place the flowers. Okay, that looks much more better. So yeah, I think I'm finished with designing the garden. There is something that I forgot to add, and that's the light source. So I'm using here glowstones, placing here. And I also forgot to cover up the TV, I'm using a picture frame. Uh, I mean a painting. And have to use blocks so that it will accurately be placed like how I want it. Good.
now I can add some light source to the kitchen, dining table, uh, dining room, and the living room. For that, I'm using lanterns. And the lantern should be actually somewhere here. Yeah. So I will place here four lanterns above the table. Same on the sofa. Uh, same over the sofa. Uh, no, like that. And another one here too. Get rid of those here. Perfect. And the same thing in the kitchen. Hmm. More like that. So here, of course, we already have a light source. I'm going up. Oh wait, I forgot something. What I could do is I can add a window here. And here I can add uh, more lanterns here. Like that. Same in the bad uh same in the bedroom. I add one light source. One, two, three. One. Maybe I can. Oh. Hmm. Where was that one again? Move quart. Here you are. And I will place here another one. Three. I have no choice, so I have to place it like that. Okay. Same like in the bedroom. I will place two here. That looks good. And same here to the other bathroom. I think I will only place one like that. And what's missing here now is a fence that we could use to prevent from somebody falling down. So I'm using nether fence. So the table would be a scaffold. Like that. And here I can also add a flower pot. Let me search for it. Flower pot. Then for flowers, I think I will use a blue orchid. And maybe in front of the house, I will also add the flower pot on the corner here. And I will use something else. An ox eye daisy. And it really looks nice. And that's how you build a simple modern house. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And we will see you again on the next video.